Hey, howdy, hey. A happy day to you all. It is Friday, January 4th, 2019. Um, I'm feeling but much better today. Still kind of tired, but doing a lot, lot better. So my lighting in my dining room is not the greatest, but I want to show you. I'm going to do some tips and tricks videos, just little short things. So if you do not have ink pads in all the colors, I recommend getting the Stampin' Write markers. They are awesome. They have a fine tip, so like if you like to journal or want to do some fine detailing or drawing, and then they also have a brush tip. So if you're wanting to color in or if you want to do some lettering, um, the bigger, thicker letters, it's great. There's also a lot of other tips you can do with the, the markers. So one of the tips I'm going to do, and I'm going to call this my Stampin' Write Marker Tip Video 1. So this one's quick and easy. I'm actually being a little lazy on going upstairs and downstairs to get my stamp pads. So I wanted to color this leaf old olive. And all that you do, because these are a water-based marker, you can color directly on the stamps. They can be the photopolymer or the red rubber. It doesn't matter. And then usually you would huff on it. But being that I've been sick, I don't want to huff on anything. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up and I'm going to stamp the stem there. And it's turn on my light so you can see how the old olive shows up like that. And then if I want to add leaves, there's this little leaf stamp. And keep in mind, I'm working on paper pumpkin like a crazy woman, having fun doing so, I must say. Um, I'm just coloring on this leaf. And I'm going to stamp a little leaf on the stem. So it's super easy to do like that. The other thing that you can do with these, if you're doing a solid stamped image, and you want to color it different colors. So let's see if I have a solid image. Oh, you know what? Let's use one of these old, old vintage stamps. Let's do, um, here, I got one. We're going to do one of these. These are kind of fun. I'm going to do the stripes because I think they're fabulous. All right. So when you do these, you just mount it to your block or whatever but I can color it different colors. So I'm gonna go with some brighter colors so you can kind of tell. I'm gonna take the brush tip on this and I'm gonna color my diagonals. I'm gonna do some purple. And you usually start with the lightest color when you color. In this case, I did not. I started with purple, but that's okay. Cause you don't wanna mix like your yellow with your purple and ruin your yellow tip marker. And then I'm gonna do some Pacific Point and color that in. Now this I do have tough on because on the red rubber it dries pretty quick. And the huffing is just moistening the stamp. So as long as I don't have any little kids or anybody licking the stamp, it should be good. And I don't foresee a problem with that. I wanted to do pink. Oh, here. All right. And then here's, this is not pink. What did I grab? This is Poppy Parade. Well, we'll see how this looks on here. The point is you get to kind of see what's going on. Now, I want to show you something. I just colored on here, and I picked up blue on my marker, so I'm going to just run it out there. All right, so then after I stamp this, then you just tough on your stamp to moisten it. And this is really boring, but I'm just going to stamp straight down on here. And see how you can do all the different colors? So that's another way to use your markers if you don't have your stamp pads or if you do have stamp pads but want to color in detail. All right, have a fantastic day.